Hi guys and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I'm doing three super easy and fun DIYs for you and they are all from the Dollar Tree and all with a theme of stone. Also they all can be used outside. This video is also part of a DIY challenge and the challenge is called 2020 Outdoor DIY and Decor Challenge and it is hosted by the beautiful and sweet The DIY Mommy. I will link her channel, her Instagram, her information down below for you because uh, if you're not following her already, you should be. She is an amazing DIYer. She decorates beautifully. She's working in a, on an RV right now and just glamming it up and girling, not glamming it up, but she's girling it up and it looks so absolutely adorable. With that being said, um, there's also going to be a link to the playlist and a lot of DIYers are going to be on this playlist. So just hit that playlist and all these DIYers will show up and you can watch and see ideas that other DIYers came up for outside. And with that being said, let's get started on this video. With this project, just take your time. I'm going to dab a little bit of hot glue right in the center of my little fishbowl vase. And I'm going to go around the vase, then I'm going to change my direction and go the other side in an angle. So you have a crisscross in the back and crisscross in the front. Now I'm dabbing a little bit more of hot glue to secure it. And I'm going to do the same thing to the back of the vase, that way it won't slip on the back. I'm going to repeat this process two more times. This way it's going to have three rows of my jute cord around each way. And it turned out so simple and absolutely cute. To make sure that my jute cord stays snugly in place, I decided to hot glue a little bit more in the crisscross sections and to hide that hot glue, I decided to use these stones. I'm just looking for the smallest stones and I picked just the cute ones that I liked and put three in the center on one side and three in the center of the other side. This way we hide that blob of hot glue that is holding both intersections in place. Our next project is a little coaster for the outside. I started by grabbing a foam dessert plate from the Dollar Tree and here I'm just cutting out all the sides and leaving just my flat part. Now I'm grabbing some of this shelf liner that has this wood print on it and I'm going to cut out two squares. The first square that I cut out I'm going to cut it to size of the circle. The second square, I'm going to keep it about a half inch bigger than my coaster. That way I can fold it inside and this way we have a nice seal and we can definitely keep this outside at all times. Mm -hmm. 
after I've done that, I am making little slots all around my little coaster. And then I'm just going to fold those little edges inside. And this is going to give the final seal of my coaster. To weigh down my coaster, I'm going to use these stones. And I'm just going to hot glue little round stones. I tried to keep them kind of the same size. And I was doing like a light dark, light dark. Kind of did a little pattern. But really, you just do what you feel like. And this turned out to be really, really cute. Because the stones really do hold that foam part down. And you have a nice coaster for the outside. Unfortunately, my camera was not working in the beginning of this project, but you are going to need a canvas from the Dollar Tree. And these come as a set of two. And all I did was measure the bottom, which was five inches. And I just measured it to make sure I have a nice even square and used an X-Acto knife to cut off the excess and I have a nice little square. Now I'm grabbing a little bit more of that shelf liner, that wood print shelf liner. And what I'm going to do is measure twice the size of my little square. So that way I can go around and I can have the square completely covered. I started by removing the center from my shelf liner because I wanted that part to be my front of the tic-tac-toe board. After that, I took scissors and I cut four corners in order to make flaps to cover the sides of my board. When that was done, I started removing the left and the right. And every time I did that, I adhered it to the back of my board and just cut off the excess on the sides. This way, the board is nice and clean from the front. There's nothing overlapping and you have a beautiful board. For the separations of the tic-tac-toe board, I decided to use some of this jute cord and I measured to the size of my square plus added an inch on each side and then I cut four strips of that same length. Now it's time to hot glue the jute cord to my board. Two are going to be going up and down and two are going to be going left to right. I really just used my eye to separate. I didn't measure anything out. Now you could leave it at that, but if you're like me, this bothered me because it was just a little bit too sloppy in the back. So I just eyed it and cut out a little square and covered that up just a little bit and well, it made me feel better. But you can definitely just leave it as is at this point. For the X and the O playing pieces, I'm using the same stones I've been using throughout all the projects. I just picked out these lighter ones so I can use a permanent marker on them and just the smoother ones. And I had enough of them that I can make extra O's and extra X's. That way I can keep them in a little jar or something next to the game. And I thought this just turned out absolutely cute. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know which DIY was your favorite. Was it the coaster, the candle holder, or this fun tic-tac-toe game? Let me know down below.